covering St. John's County, where many students at Bartram Trail High School are keeping their yearbooks. That include the images of dozens of female students that were edited to appear more modest. It is a story that caught national attention, and as News for Jacks reporter Brittany Muller tells us, students declined a free reprint as the district weighs a complete overhaul to the dress code there. Out of the hundreds of students at Bartram Trail, there were just 25 requests for reprints. And of those 25, only 12 returned their original yearbook. And this comes as the federal government investigates a complaint into whether the district's dress code violates Title IX. St. John's County school officials are gathering documents and records for federal investigators. The Department of Education's Office for Civil Rights is looking into how the district's dress code was enforced following a complaint filed in March by a parent of three students. The most extreme thing that the department can do is withdraw federal funding from the school district. That's sort of the big stick that they have in their bag to hold against school districts. Naomi Schatz is a Title IX attorney who says discrimination cases rarely involve school dress codes. This document from the Department of Education's Office for Civil Rights to the district shows examples, including reported dress code sweeps and the controversial editing of 80 photos of girls in the yearbook to make them look more modest. Schatz says there are few possible outcomes she says the Office for Civil Rights could say the complaint was not justified or if the district is found in violation of Title IX, Schatz says the office will require them to write a new policy or some kind of reporting to the department showing who is getting written up for dress code violations and what the violations are. The district has formed a special committee to review and recommend on how the dress code should be updated and modified. Now, the investigation could take several months, so of course we will keep you updated. Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The Local Station.